Casey here with the CDGA, and we are at the Chicago Golf Show at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont, joined by Jordan Abdelhak, the Executive Director of the Illinois Junior Golf Association. Uh, Jordan, thanks for stepping away from the booth and coming by this afternoon. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So the IJGA obviously plays a crucial role in the golf landscape uh, here in Illinois. So why don't you go ahead and take us through a little bit about uh, some of the highlights of what your organization does? Sure, sure. We have um, about 150 playing opportunities for juniors ages 8 to 18. Uh, scattered all over the Chicagoland area, uh, anywhere uh, probably about an hour and a half radius uh, from the city of Chicago. So we go as far north as, uh, you know, Waukegan area, as far west as DeKalb, uh, you know, southwest Lockport area, uh, further than that really. Uh, and then, you know, south down to about I-80. Uh, we do a few tournaments downstate, a few in Indiana and Wisconsin. We have a regional, regional tour that we operate, uh, multi-day events from. Uh, but we've got something for everybody. We've got nine whole events, for, you know, par three courses, all the way up to multi-day uh, state championships for, for very elite level golfers. So uh, we try to pride ourselves on having something for everybody. Uh, we understand there's a wide array of, of building levels um, with, with our age ranges. Uh, even, a, even a 16, 17 year old that might just be getting into the game uh, we've got some tournaments that are more appropriate for them as well. So um, again, just, just trying to have something for everybody. Of those 150 playing opportunities, what are some of the highlights that you guys have coming up for 2019? Sure. We have a couple big ones that we kick off with. Uh, the DuPage County Junior Classic will have about 250 players scattered over a couple different golf courses uh, in DuPage County. Maple Meadows and the newly uh, opened Preserve at Oak Meadows will host that event. Uh, we also have a, a big event at Medina, uh, Medina Country Club that all the proceeds from that event support the Medina, or the, excuse me, the Shriners Children's Hospital. Uh, so we're really proud of that event. We donate about $20,000 every year uh, to that cause. So that's a, that's a big and very popular event for, for our older kids. Uh, and then as we move into the summer, we've got some junior elites for the younger kids. Uh, certainly we've got year-long player of the year races that kids look forward to. Uh, and the pinnacle on our schedule for the guys, uh, as far as they're concerned, is the, the Illinois State Junior, which is held at McRae Memorial. Uh, this will be our 50th year anniversary, so uh, we're, we're really looking forward to that. We've got a you know, long, long history of past champions, Doug Gim, uh, all, all kinds of guys that uh, have gone on to do some pretty remarkable things in the Chicagoland golf community. So uh, certainly looking forward to that. And on the women's side, we've got our girls championship at Lake Barrington Shores. Uh, in mid-June. Uh, at the same time, the boys' championship is being held uh, mid to late June, uh, so we're looking forward to that as well. It's actually the site of uh, the U.S. Junior Girls Qualifier, so we're, the, uh, we're just before that, so it'll, it'll be a nice tie-in to uh, get not only the Chicagoland girls, but some girls coming from, from outside the area to particip participate in that as well. Yeah. Obviously a wide array of opportunities, and one of the most commonly cited sort of barriers to entry for golf is often financially related. And I understand you guys do uh, some things to help mitigate some of those factors. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, again, something we're really proud of and something that we've ramped up over the last uh, couple years is our financial assistance program. So uh, we understand that co the golf is a very expensive game, especially uh, once you add in instruction, uh, your normal greens fees. Uh, a lot of these juniors are part, you know, part of an academy. Uh, and a lot of families just don't have those resources to be able to do that. And then on top of that, um, you know, play in our tournaments, which they're, they are fee-based. Um, so we do offer uh, a financial aid program uh, that allows kids to play in our events, to become a member of the IJGA and play in events at no charge. Um, so we are, we are happy to, to promote that and to get as many applicants uh, that we possibly can for that program. Because, again, we do, we do understand that uh, it can be prohibitive at times, and, and we fundraise uh, on a yearly basis through our golf marathon, which is a 100-hole marathon uh, that our, our board and friends of the IJGA take place in. Uh, they raise money specifically for that program. Very nice. Now, you mentioned Doug earlier. Um, you know, he's starting to make some waves on the tour. Nick Hardy turned professional, the likes of TK Kelly, Patrick Flavin as well. Uh, an exciting young group of players who obviously all came up through the IJGA, as you mentioned, in playing in those events. So how much fun is it for you and the rest of the staff there to watch these guys have some success on a, a national stage now, knowing they sort of started uh, with you? Yeah, it's, it's an absolute blast. I mean, we're, we're all big fans, but uh, we saw these kids when they were 12, 13, sometimes even younger, and, and Doug and Nick's cases, uh, for the guys that have been on staff long enough to see them when they were just at the YDP level, uh, eight, nine years old. So to see them mature, uh, become unbelievable players. I mean, Doug Gim left, left college as the number one ranked amateur in the world, uh, you know, wins the Collegiate Player of the Year award. Um, and Nick, Nick obviously had an amazing career at Illinois and, 
uh, you know, is, is, is going to go on to do great things, TK and Patrick as well. Uh, it's been really fun. I mean, that, that class uh, or those couple classes there had some, had some unbelievable talent. Uh, but even if you go back further than that, guys um, that came through the program before I was around and, and our staff was around, like guys like Kevin Strillman, uh, you know, he's, he's obviously had an unbelievable PGA Tour career, a couple wins. Uh, he still gives back to our association. He actually had a clinic last summer at Cantini. Uh, all the proceeds from that event supported that um, that financial assistance program. So uh, it's it's really cool to see uh, those guys are still engaged. Uh, Doug and, and Nick and all those guys on an everyday basis, and uh, a few of them have actually mentioned that uh, hopefully at some point they can they can maybe have a na uh, tournament named in their honor. So it's 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 awesome. Uh, you know. Our organizations obviously work side by side on a lot of projects, one of which being Youth on Course, um, you know, the CDGA and CDGA Foundation bringing that national program here locally. And you guys have been big supporters of it, working it in as a, uh, an asset of IJGA membership. So um, what are your thoughts on the program overall? And again, sort of another opportunity to kind of uh, get more people introduced to the game, as many people as possible. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, anything you can do to introduce young people or uh, maybe they're already inter introduced, but uh, get them playing more. Uh, you know, they're going to need more instruction and, and they're just going to become lifelong players uh, in the game. So Youth on Course is a great program. I mean, to, to be able to go out for a junior and play play golf for five dollars is, is, is unbelievable. Uh, there's a uh, what I from what I understand, uh, quite a few uh, participating courses, which is great uh, for those those facilities to get back to the game and get back to junior golf. Uh, but it just it made total sense for us to promote it, uh, for us to get behind it and partner with the CDJ in that. Uh, and the CDJ was kind enough to offer our membership uh, and our network discounted uh, rates into the Youth on Course program. So um, it's it's a it's a it's a wonderful program. Um, obviously, we all know there's other programs out there. First Tee, which is wonderful, IJGA, uh, you know, Freedom Golf Association. You have a lot of different uh, associations that have a junior element to it. But uh, to add another. Uh, and, and one that has national prominence uh, in the Chicagoland area is great. We'll let you get back to the booth here shortly, but what do you guys have going on uh, a couple aisles down here at the show this weekend? Yeah, Friday's always uh, kind of a slow day for us with the kids still in school, but Saturday and Sunday uh, we have a scavenger hunt. So if kids stop by our booth, uh, grab a, a, a card, and, and they'll go. We'll, we'll ask them to go around to 10, 15 booths. Uh, get a whole punch, visit that booth, maybe learn a little bit about, uh, you know, what they have going on. I think the CDJ is, is on that ticket. So um, they come back to our booth once they've completed it, and they get a get a prize from uh, the IJGA or, or one of the uh, vendors on the on the scavenger hunt. So uh, it's just a, a fun little thing to do. It's a good way to, good way to navigate the show floor as well. All right, Jordan. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming by. Good luck with the, the show the rest of the weekend. And, uh, you know, snow on the ground now, but that'll be gone soon enough, and we'll be back out uh, running tournaments and being out of championships and things like that. So Absolutely. thank you very much. Thank you, Casey. All right, uh, be sure to stay tuned to cdga.org throughout the rest of the Chicago Golf Show for more interviews with representatives from the golf industry and the golf landscape.